Hi, this is Torsten Lawrence, and in this short tutorial, I will show you how you can live edit files that have been browserified right in Chrome DevTools. Here we have a small project with a few JavaScript files. Main.js is our entry file, and we will just browserify them. We use uh, minus D, which is the debug flag, in order to make sure that we generate source maps for the files and pipe that to the bundle. Now we can serve the current folder and open in Chrome. Now we can open the dev tools and refresh to get our stack trace on the right. Click in here and we can see that we are editing full. Now you might think that you can just go ahead now and change this file and then save. But as you can see, Chrome doesn't like that. The reason is, although we have source maps, these source maps just map to a network location. So basically Chrome is able to show us these files here, but it still just knows that they come from localhost. And you kind of can see that if you look at the network, uh, the bundle basically on the bottom contains a source map, which kind of looks like this originally. And it's this JSON, which tells Chrome where the files come from. But Chrome still doesn't know where on the file system the files actually are. So what we have to do is we have to, first of all, create a workspace folder for, for our project. So we add a folder here. And basically what I did, I right-clicked on the file to get that um, menu come up. So now we find our, our project that we're trying to um, map. And in this case, it's an Exorcist example. So here we can see our project, including the bundle. Click Select. And we allow Chrome to access. But let's just edit again and try to save. That's still not enough. So Chrome now created a workspace for us down here, or at least a workspace folder which has our project files in it, but it still doesn't know exactly that that foo is the same as that foo. So we need to tell it. So what we do, we say map file to system resource. And we select the foo. Chrome will warn us that it will restart DevTools. And now our file got reloaded with the old content. So let's edit it again and save. And voila, we now saved the file. What we have to do now is to rebundle. and refresh and let's look at our console and now the output has changed. The annoying thing though is that as you saw it have, had to go back and rebundle whenever you know I changed the file. So that's not a very productive way to work. What we need is something that will bundle automatically whenever a file changes and there are multiple, multiple ways to do that. Um, and I will show one here. Um, you could also use, just to mention those tools, you could use Beefy, or you could create your own server that bundles on demand. We're gonna use Watchify. So first of all, let's kill the server that's still running. And now in all, instead of typing Browserify, we're just going to type Watchify and the same command line as with Browserify. Pipe that into the bundle. And once it has an out file, you can do that. And in another terminal, we relaunch our server. Now refresh, it's still the same. And we're gonna open the console on the bottom so you can watch. Now I'm gonna remove one of the bars here. Save, refresh, and voila, it changed right away. The nice thing is that also we don't have to map every file separately. So once we map this one foo file, you can see that the bar and the main also disappeared from up here because uh, Chrome understands that foo is next to bar and this also works for subfolders. So you don't have to map every file over and over again. So now for instance, if I edit um, bar here, let's just change foo actually to invoke bar. which it already kind of does, but let's just um, isolate that. Let's save. Okay, and now we're going to go into bar and change Heian bar to Heian barbarian. And there you go. See how quick the feedback loop is? 
The other cool thing is, of course, that you can now put breakpoints. Refresh, go in here. You're in, in your environment. You can, in, in the console, have quick access to things. Change real quick. Save, refresh, back in the breakpoint. Now your file is changed. Now if you step through, you see the changed output. That's pretty much all you need to know. Just a uh, quick, uh, for people who want to understand a little more, what happened under the hood is that Chrome basically created a workspace for us. Uh, whenever we right clicked in the sources tab and gave us this information, you can also do this by hand. It's a little harder to get this right. So I, I don't prefer to do it this way, but this is basically what happens. I hope this will make you more productive in the future. Till later.